It's kind of fascinating to see all the different ways people approach this problem, like with uh, maps and lists and all that stuff. Uh, so having said that, we can start with uh, accessibility and you know the, the whole idea that is for reaching all learners. So we kind of started with that, and we want to make sure you know that what we're creating fits all sizes, fits all the students who are coming to our school. Um, that it has, and anyway, obviously because we're brainstorming, the word accessibility kind of branched out, became a lot of different things. So accessible meaning you know how we get to school. So we had great ideas on making you know accessible infrastructure for alternative transportation. We had bicycle areas and things like that. Uh, we had accessibility to the community. That was like a big thing that I've heard from other groups and that's gonna run through the rest of our little ideas here are you know pulling the community to uh, really take advantage of the, the space and the programs that we're offering to our students. Um, so let's move on to the next one. Uh, the next one we talked about was uniting the disciplines. And this one probably had the most of our attention because this one, it's kind of a, an exciting thing and a lot of the pictures we saw in the presentations earlier this morning, you know, showed you know, classes working together, like two or three different classes working together in one space to kind of create a new things. And we we're just kind of trying to figure out how that could work. And so we were just talking about how different disciplines can go together. Um, again, bringing the community to maybe have different, uh, showing how, you know, students how to start a business, showing students how to, you know, start a community garden. That community garden could be, uh, you know, put through the health classes, through all those other things, bring those all together to, to you know, create uh, a space that we can use for, for all sorts of different, different uh, purposes. So, you know, again, let's see, what else do we have here? Yeah, I covered all that page there. Uh, the next one is support great teachers. So we, um, all of this depends on how, you know, it's, we put this together by, you know, supporting ourselves and supporting how we can succeed by doing this is creating, I guess one of the bigger things we talked about was making sure that we have the flexibility in our classrooms to, to do the things that we want to do. So space, space was the big thing, you know. Um, sometimes our classrooms are too small, so we want to make sure that if we're going to design a new space, we have enough space in our, for our 34, 35 students to get up and walk around and actually physically do that to collaborate. Sometimes the, the spaces that we're in right now are a little bit too small for that. Um, and then, you know, we thought, we talked about the desk itself and what what that is, and it, it, can we get away from that idea? It, is how much space do we are we putting to uh, are committing to just a, a desk and trying to get away from that idea and, and picturing what that could look like a classroom with a with a different sort of seating arrangement? Uh, we have you know a, a lot a lot of groups are talking about modular design. That's super important. We have we want to make sure that you know we can set up our classroom for one period to do one thing and the next period it can do something else if we're going to collaborate with other teachers we want to make sure that you know the the space we're we're working in has multiple different uh, purposes of when that's you know great movable walls workspaces that that move uh different seating arrangements that can ad accommodate different learners different people um and for different uses so we'll move on to that and then we kind of th th talked about what the school of the future might look like and we you know, we're, we're, our group was very word heavy, so we kind of just kept with the brainstorming thing. So we, uh, the words that kept coming up were connecting, collaborating, being creative, being versatile, and being inspiring, making sure that. But a big one is connection in nature. That was a big one that, that came up in our group, uh, making sure that we, you know, that are, we're using the environment around us. And we talk about using eco-friendly stuff, but not just beyond that, sustainability, we talk about using the space that's given to us. If we're, um, you know, if we're building in one space that, ha that has a great view, we use that to, you know, to bring in natural light, to bring in all that stuff. We, we do that to inspire the, t the students to make that a great space. We take advantage of the space around us to make sure that that, to incorporate that into the design. Uh, we, you know, the words that keep popping up are creative, colorful, that kind of stuff. Student ownership, that was a huge one that we've talked about. Um, we want to make sure that students feel like they belong at the school, that they can that it's, that it's their school to do what they want with. And we, you know, we talked about different things that students can do because they, they have an area that they can, you know, draw on, paint on, they call their own, if they can feel like their, their stuff is being, you know, displayed and all that stuff. So they can feel like the, you know, teachers really care about what they're doing and creating. And we want to make sure that we reinforce that every time we get. And then beyond the ideas we're talking about, we talked about like physical things. Um, softer lighting, we talked about, 
you know, multi-use of the community. We talked about the building as a, you know, after 4 p.m., what is the building going to do? We talked about having multi-use, making it the idea that, you know, a school could be open for, for different purposes. How, you know, it, where I am at Benson, we have an evening scholars program. We have all sorts of different stuff. We have, so the, the building itself is being used beyond, you know, the 4 p.m. when school, when most kids are kicked out of school uh, for the day. <laughs> um, a lot of stuff we talked about, uh, balance and ease of access. So we, we talked about all these ideas are great. You know, we talked about having glass windows and glass doors and glass walls. We talked about balancing, though, security uh, with ease of access and trust and transparency. We talked about how that, how that can be, uh, you know, how that can be worked. So it, it's great to have, um, you know, a clear wall between classrooms, but what happens when, you know, Timmy is waving to the different class across there and that can be, create a distraction, that can create problems. So these are all awesome ideas, but, you know, sometimes there are, you know, ideas that we need to think through a little bit more, I think. Um, and then we talked about, okay, again, with the, the using the space as a modular way. Uh, we had great ideas, some circular classrooms, some movable walls, you know, joining classrooms and making, their, making sure they're collaborative, giving them uh, obviously different ways you can set them up to, to use them in multiple ways. So that's about it. Thank you. Thank you.